food and how it is produced has become an issue of global concern. This is especially true of the livestock industry. Far too much of the world's grain is consumed in the production of beef. Meat production also releases so much CO2, it's a major burden on the environment. We urgently need foodstuffs that are more eco-friendly and can be produced more efficiently. This is a chain of yakiniku restaurants in Tokyo. What they're serving looks like meat, but doesn't come from animals. It's soy meat. Soybeans have long been used in Japan in many foods, from soy sauce to tofu. In the past, the Japanese got much of their protein from soybean-based foods. Soybeans are a very rich source of protein. Sasaki Hideyuki has developed a 100% plant-based meat made from soybeans. As people start to understand the environmental impact of meat, I hope they'll see our product as a good substitute to eventually replace it. Previous soy meat products mostly used animal-derived ingredients to give the same texture as meat. To reduce the environmental impact, Sasaki's products are entirely plant-based. He developed numerous ways to process soybeans to give his soy meat a variety of shapes and textures. There are already quite a number of restaurants serving Sasaki's soy meats. This 100% plant-based hamburger is popular with health-conscious young people. You wouldn't know it wasn't meat just by tasting it. It's really tasty. This allows people who don't want to eat meat to enjoy having meals with their friends who do. Sasaki's soy meat has gone international and can now be bought in the US too. Our goal wasn't to make foods that seem identical to meat. Rather, we wanted to create textures that people will find satisfying and tasty to eat. In fact, we were aiming to make a new category of food. Another major global problem is food waste. Professor Furukawa Hidemitsu is working on this issue. He found a way to make surplus foodstuffs that would otherwise have been discarded into powder for long-term storage. To reconstitute the powder, simply add water. This creates a gel that can then be formed to look like the original food. A way to store food that's ready to be eaten at any time. As well as helping with the world's food waste problems, the technology has found uses in nursing homes. Here, a 3D printer is shaping reconstituted broccoli powder into food for care patients. Broccoli isn't usually served in nursing homes. The reason is, however much you soften the leafy parts, they tend to break up when eaten and can get into the windpipe instead. This can be very dangerous for old people. This product has all the taste of broccoli and it's completely safe to swallow. Many other foods can be made from ingredients that would otherwise have just been thrown away. A boon for nursing homes and quite possibly a future food for all of us. Japanese food technology, creating new products that are good for the earth and for people too.